Hello and welcome to a new video in this series of how can I do it? Well, what I want to do is I want to use my nice little encoder here. Yeah, I want to to place it in a nice casing. Yeah, this shall be transportable. Yeah, and I want to move uh, a Vuforia experience with this. All right, so I want to move. Uh, a compressor, actually. Yeah, I want to turn here the knob, and those compressors shall also turn, shall be animated. So I want to influence my augmentation with this device. Okay, so this is the goal actually, and I decided to use it via MQTT because I also recently learned uh, ThingWorks can process MQTT data, so you there must be an MQTT broker. Uh, we'll do it. Yeah? And I want to do it with the ESP32, yeah? because I never used it before. Yeah? So I wanted to do it with this ESP device. The first thing I've noticed, okay, it's not that breadboard friendly. So I've decided to use two breadboards, okay, and then we can place it in there. This is number one, all right? Then this is a, a mini USB connection, yeah? and I want to use the Arduino EDA to program this little device. So far, so good. Yeah? So I have a, a mini USB cable here somewhere. Uh, here it is. Connect this thing. Then probably I will get uh, probably I will get some board. Let's see. Let's see. Tools, board. Oh, there's a COM9. It looks good. This looks good because there was never a COM9 before. I will open also the device manager to see if this is really the case. Let's see. What is it? Silicon Labs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the UART bridge. In this device, if I'm removing this, it's gone. Good. Yeah. Replug it. Okay. 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 So this is this is COM9. So I now would have to select here the ESP32. There is no ESP32. There is this ESP8266 because we programmed. This little device here, yeah. Come here. We programmed this little device. So this is the this was the ESP8266. There were also versions which looked like this, yeah. This are also 8266. And this is the 32 now. Be aware that this 32, there are different types of boards out. Okay, so not Every board looks exactly like this. The pins are a little bit different. You have to refer to your version. Yeah, this is <laughs> yeah. Okay, how do I add how do I add the correct board for the 32? Open preferences. Here we entered the board manager for for the 80, uh, 8266. So and we add now. A certain string there. Okay, we have to find out. Make a quick search in the internet, and then I will be back. Okay, apparently I have to enter here another JSON file. Looks like this. I have copied this to clipboard. I will place it under the video. Yeah. So, expressive com package usb index json looks good and if you have more than one like we have you have to separate it with comma okay so 
I will now. Where is this? Here, Boards Manager. Boards Manager, downloading platform index, and I should be able to find somewhere now this ESP32. Yeah. Latest version, install. Installing! So now it should download all, quite a lot of possible versions of this ESP device. ESP32. Wait until this is finished. Okay, now it is finished. Uh, so close the window. Tools. And here we should... Oh, ESP32. Poo, what might this be? I will try this ESP32 dev module. Let's see. We will simply write here serial.begin. Uh, what is the typical value? Oh. Huh, get board info. Ah, uh, port, com9, now I should be able to get port info, unknown port, wow, <laughs> okay, unknown port, open the serial monitor, what is typical, 115,200, I will use this. Here we are. And I will here we are write with print line. I will simply make an output of, of the seconds. Every second. Pooh, huh? Upload. I don't want to save it. It's compiling. Let's see if this is that easy. Connecting. Writing. Ah, there's now more, much more output. Oh, sir monitor. Uh -huh. <laughs> ah, the seconds in binary format. Okay, this was not planned. I have to cast the type. <laughs> Why not? Seconds in binary format. See if this is also working. If we open the monitor, ooh, this is also working. Writing. And now, I mean, that's it. Yeah. yeah. Five seconds, six seconds, seven seconds. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. So, actually, this is all you have to do to, to program an ESP32 with your. Arduino EDA. Yeah? Set the correct package board manager URL. Yeah? Download with the board manager. Board manager, download the latest version, select the correct correct uh, ESP device. Okay? I also, you know, sometimes I don't do not get outputs from there and so on. Yeah, alright. Then you have you can, is there 
No. Unknown board. No, it's still unknown board. Hmm. Ah. So our ESP32 now is up and running and we can program it. All right. The next thing we are going to try is to connect to connect to Wi-Fi. Yeah? Connect to Wi-Fi and also maybe later connect, make a make a connection, uh, secure connection, SSL connection. Let's see how this is working. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.